<laughs> in 2009, I was attending the 10, 20 cash games in Vegas very regularly. I was basically flying from Vancouver to Vegas every week and playing Thursday, Friday, Saturday in Vegas and then coming back to Vancouver where I had a dog for the rest of the week. So it was right before Christmas, I was at Bellagio. This billionaire walks up to me, who I've been playing now fairly regularly. He comes to Vegas twice a year and goes to Texas once a year. So I've seen him a few times at this Bellagio game and he's an excellent player to have at the table. We've had our, him and I have had our ups and downs, but now we're friends. So he comes up to me and he taps me on the shoulder and he's like, I was just playing blackjack and he pulls out a whole stack of, at the time they had cranberry chips, with, which were the 25Ks. So almost a whole stack, which is close to 500K. He's like, I was just playing blackjack, I won. I want to come play poker as their seat. So we talk to the floor and the floor says, okay, we'll just add another chair. So now we're playing 10 handed at the 10, 20, no limit. Um, with this guy at this table, I did something very stupid. <laughs> I went to the cash and I took out all the money I had in Vegas at the time, which was about $80,000, <laughs> all in cash. And I just stuck it behind my chips on the table before I had like 5K on the table. And now I have about 80,000 on the table. And my guy sits down, my billionaire friend, with his stack of cranberries. So he had over 100K, so he had me covered. But I just put the money on the table, uh, played a few hands, then him and I got involved in a hand, heads up, where I had king seven of spades. We get to the river and I hit runner runner, second nut flush. I'm out of position against him and I lead $800 into a $1,700 pot. And he instantly, with tons of confidence, says, all in. And you could probably see all the blood rush from my face. Like I turned completely white. I was, I have the second nuts, but that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking, I don't have the nuts. This is my entire bankroll. Now I begin to think, should I fold? I could fold. No one, no one has to know that I'm folding the second nuts, the king high flush here. No one has to know. And then I start thinking about, well, the pot was so small and this is so much money. There's just absolutely no point in calling. But what if I'm right? And then he says something. He says, and we're friends now at this point. So he's being, he's normally pretty honest with me. Like he doesn't normally lie to me. And he says to me, fold, I have you beat. And I said to him, oh, you have a flush? And he kind of like stumbled, like as if he didn't even realize that there was a flush. Like I said, it was runner runner, so it was really weird for someone to have a flush there. So he kind of stumbled around and then, then didn't answer my question. But he went from being really confident to not being really confident, so at that point I knew I had to call. With all the confidence in the world, he turns over, he slams down on the table his, and says, two pair. <laughs> and now I was so embarrassed that I tanked for so long, but now I have to show this hand. And so then I show my second nut flush, and that was a defining moment, because had I lost that hand, I don't know if I'd still be playing poker, I would have had to rebuild everything. A lot went through my head, and folding was definitely the easier way out of it. But as, as you said, it was like a rounder's moment and it worked out in my favor.